Today we're gonna get an update on Ben's tank. You may remember his 100% Euphilia garden lit with $100 lights. While some things have changed, he's added some tanks and he's made an in-wall system. Let's go. What's up, Coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy and this is the Bahama Llama Coral. YouTube channel. I want to remind you that we're going to do a giveaway when we reach 10,000 subscribers. So every single subscriber helps at this point. So if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Included in that 10K giveaway so far, a frag of my Weeping Willow leather coral. Uh, ben said he would throw some stuff in, as did Tyler, Inland underscore Reef. Uh, we just shot his coastal reef tank and his minimalist reef tank. You got to go check those videos out too. So a lot of live coral in this 10,000 subscriber giveaway, but let's get there first. Today, I'm super excited. We're going to get an update on Ben's tanks. Literally the day after I shot our last update where he moved from the one house that he had in uh, St. Louis to a new house that's out in one of the burbs, he ended up uh, framing up this wall around the tanks and everything changed. So it looks entirely different than the last time you saw it. I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. Please enjoy this tour of Ben's ever evolving wreath. Don't make fun of me, it's my wife's mask. I forgot mine, okay? <laughs> I said don't make fun of me. I can't help it because I'm wearing a purple one. All right, let's let's get an update on Ben's tanks because I don't know if you can see that, but it looks sweet. Let me, let me splice in some old footage of like what this looked like last time I was here. It's changed a little bit. This looks like a museum you got going on here. A little, little like shed aquarium-esque St. Louis aquarium with the benches and everything. Need a little spot to sit. Wanted to uh, match that trim. So made those and then last night, I think I was up to like 3 a.m. figuring out this new uh, 3D printer and uh, printed the little uh, plaques to kind of tell you about the about the tanks. This is the Euphilia Garden. Oh yeah. And this tank was not did not have what it has in it this time. Let's start with any changes that you might have made to the um, Euphilia Garden. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think you have some new fish in here. So yeah, the orange spotted rabbit fish. I'm having a little bubble algae. And uh, I mean, way back when I've had it and I absolutely hate dealing with it, but there's barely anything in here. He's been munching now like a monster. Um, Scopus Tang. Can we just yeah. talk about this guy real quick? Oh yeah. So traded in a bunch of stuff and uh, grabbed him on a trade in at Gateway. I really didn't have a choice about getting him. Uh, I was talking to Tyler and asked him, well, what should I get? And uh, he was like, you have to get this. And honestly, I knew nothing about them, but they're awesome. Um, I've moved a lot of stuff around. I've lost a lot of stuff. Had a nice Alk swing. That was fun. The Aussie gold is gone. No! I know. It uh, tried to split and didn't make it. It happens. This The Philia Garden is pretty much the same for the most part, other than a few fish that have uh, changed. But uh, this harem tank was not a harem tank before. How many, how many clowns are in here now? You got 25. Still the same amount when I put them in about a month ago now. They're doing awesome. No aggression, just happy as ever, but they're getting very close to hosting, just not there yet. Have you tried the iPad trick? I did, but my iPad died right away. What kind of NEMs are these? Are they all are they all the same? Are they I you got some green ones in here, so those are obviously not the same, but there's rainbows in here and then there's ultras. And there's two different ultras in there that look totally different. That big one in the top left, and then I have one in the back room we'll take a nice peek at later and you'll see the difference. And then I have the Shermans back there too, or the Reds. Was oh, that Carl? That's Carl. He's uh, the only non-clown. There was so much algae in here, hair algae, and that dude tore it apart. He's done a great job. You can see his belly, he's a little chunker. Yeah, he thinks he's a part of the team. You'll find him swimming just in the middle of all of them. It's funny. What about, what kind of advice would you have for someone with that wanted to do a harem tank? Cause I feel like it has, obviously it has a really cool look to it. First and foremost, plan. Depending on what market you're in or where you're trying to buy like anemones for instance. I mean, some of these ultras are like three, $400. Um, 
So unless you have a lot of money or you feel comfortable cutting them, you know, you gotta think about that. You also need to think about if you're gonna do an enemies, which you should be for clownfish in my opinion, your tank needs to be running for at least six months, if not longer. Definitely buy them from the same hatch, uh, all the same size. They say you can mix different designs, but I wouldn't recommend it. What morph is this? This is a mocha. Yeah, I always get, yeah, sustainable clocks. I always get it mixed up because it's not from from them, but it is because it's from their sister store, uh, Coral Reef, and they sell to the little folk like me. So yeah, they were, I mean, that's the next thing you gotta think about what kind of clownfish you wanna do because the prices on these, they skyrocket. When you're doing 20, 25 of them, you need to, you need to at least do about 20 in my opinion, and I mean, they're expensive. These, these ones are cheap though. I think I paid like 390 with shipping for all 25. You can't really go wrong at that. I'll give a quick shout out to Ken at Seven Feet of Reef as I kind of pull back here and get a wide shot. He inspired you to do this kind of look? When I was about to move here, I was, you know, throwing brainstorming ideas on what I'm gonna do with the new house and who, you know, should I get a tank made? What should I do? And Tyler pointed at me and said, you need to look at uh, seven feet of reefs Instagram and see his build and that was blown away but yeah I think it's the cheap man's awesome display build because <laughs> you know I mean it looks like an L tank but 93 cube with the 125 kind of smacked together so that's that's your two display tanks now you've got a brand new tank in the back here yes can you show me what's behind the curtain Yes, I can. <laughs> Contestant number one, right this way. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so we got a, a new frag tank with a bunch of like fire in it, looks like. Yeah, kind of kind of redid the back room and uh, threw the frag tank in there. There's that uh, anemone difference. Yeah, kind of going higher end in here. There's a couple low end things in here, but Definitely nice little grow out. You know, a lot of this stuff, a lot of it has come from Ken at Seven Feet of Reef. I mean, look at that amazing balls right now. That, uh, that's insane. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Ben, it's, it's amaze balls. Amaze balls, that's it. Amazing balls is something else. Is there really an amazing balls name? Amaze balls. <laughs> amaze balls, I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, when I, when I first walked in here, like, like, I don't know that I've ever seen a coral this bright before. It's insane. And you've got another uh, rabbit fish in here, kind of oh, yeah. keeping things clean, it looks like. Yeah, he's been going to town, doing his job. Killed one fish, unfortunately, but ooh. Yeah, all that came in yesterday. All the sticks. All the acros, and then you've got shroom. Good night. Shroom heaven. Yeah, I've been doing a little trading lately. Got Neptunes in there and all kinds of fun stuff. Ooh. Oh. Base Invader Pectinia. And I came from Ken yesterday too. He is showing right now. That's one thing about one thing about these Pectinias is they can throw these sweepers like crazy far. Yeah, he'll be in that corner by himself. And they say they throw them all day, doesn't matter, and they're not like chalices who throw them mainly at night. And uh, they need to be in low light and they grow better apparently, so he's, he's got his own frag rack. Is there any, any piece in here that you really like? Probably the Space Invader. I mean this, they call it the dirty little secret that came yesterday from Ken and it's starting to come out. And next to it's the... I call it the mermaid of the drunken, but it's really the drunken mermaid, Ghani. Um, it's coming out better. It'll be all right, it hasn't fully gone. Some pretty cool morphs in there, some zoos. I think the one you're staring at is uh, like some kind of Hawaiian punch morph. This is neat, it's got this like purple and green pattern. That's yeah, that's neat. nice. So this is different too. Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. You changed your lights. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I can't believe it. No more cheap LEDs for this guy. But what was your reasoning for, if they were doing so well, what was your reasoning behind uh, changing them out? Uh, I probably want to talk to the guy standing in the corner over there. <laughs> I don't know, he told me one day, he was like, hey, I got all these lights. 
You want to put them on the 125? I was like, sure. So these are what? Hydras? Hydras. Yeah, original I've, I've definitely noticed a difference already. I mean, with color, the colors it's bringing out, it's, they're great. They're awesome. You got the little auto feeder. That's another thing too with that harem tank. You definitely, definitely want to get an auto feeder. Get that popping off. What brand is that? Is that an Amazon feeder? Yeah, it's just an Amazon cheapo. It's the only thing I could get. That was, that was the one thing I forgot to buy and all the stores were closed. So just ordered the fastest thing I could get out here. It's worked great. I mean, it only goes four times a day though. That's the only downfall. I feel like you need five or six, yeah. but I, I hand feed them once a day too. You know, and we got this board over here where I ask myself really important questions and friends. Okay, uh, Remy, what shoe size do you wear? 13? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, in reference to my question and answer video that I did where somebody randomly asked me what my shoe size was. Uh, but yes, it is a 13 if you're wondering. What is your shoe size? Wear a 13? I just love this tank so much. It just pops right off the screen. Oh, yeah. yeah, what are your lights here? Are these, are these your old lights, Tyler? Yeah. Yeah, these are the are. original what are these the original souls? Yeah they are. Look at those, I haven't seen those in a while. Dude, I, I think they put off one of the nice like royal atinic compared to like it's almost like a T5. It kinda reminds me of it just without that shimmer. And they're sitting high too and doing well, so I don't know. I have some uh, plans for this tank with lights here shortly. Those are gonna go bye bye. Oh Remy, you gotta come back here. So you don't even know this. I don't think, do we tell him what Ken? Oh yeah, so Ken sent you stuff and you don't even, you don't even know. So this guy right in the middle, that's oh. from Ken for you. Is that a little guy of this? Oh yeah. What is it, this, what do you call it? Striata? Strata, Striata. Um, and then these right here, these Sunny D's. But I'll tell you what, I put his Sunny D's up here next to one that I had. And his are, his have some color to them that, I don't know, maybe it's his lights or something, but they definitely yeah. look nice and bright. You wanna go to Seven Feet of Reef? We'll uh, put the link in the description below. Thank you, Ken, that's awesome. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Let's leave on the amazing balls. Balls of amazing. The most amazing balls. I don't know about you, but I just love seeing all of the different ways that this hobby can be done. From a clownfish harem tank, to a 125 gallon Euphilia dominant tank and so much more like an in wall system. It's just cool to see everybody's different interpretation of how this hobby should go. And I know we kind of breeze through equipment in this video, but if you wanted a more detailed walkthrough, just hit up the previous video that we did with Ben. We go through all of that. None of the equipment has changed. It's just kind of moved around a little bit. Did you see a coral in there that you really loved? Make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And maybe if he's got two of them, one of them might end up in that giveaway. So make sure to comment down below what your favorite coral was. That 10,000 subscriber giveaway is gonna be fun. We're gonna be cutting it really close, but I think it'd be so cool if we could do it before the new year. What a Christmas miracle that would be. So please, if you could, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload new videos. Can you believe that I only have three more videos until my goal of 50 this year. I know there are like daily vloggers and vlogmas is going on right now. So there's people that are putting out videos every single day, but I feel like being consistent every single week for the most part for the entire year has been uh, quite the journey. It's been a blur. We've got a couple of videos left this year. I'm super excited about an unboxing video with Ocean State Aquatics. I think 50 videos is crazy, but Scott Crow <laughs> opened not one, but two new stores this year in the middle of a pandemic. And it's interesting to me because while a lot of industries have struggled, for whatever reason, there are various facets of the aquarium industry that have been thriving. Like just checking in with my local fish stores and they say that business has never been better. It's because a lot of people are sitting at home 
wanting a reef tank or wanting some sort of aquarium in their home. I think we all find a little bit of peace and a little bit of an escape when we get to tend to these beautiful reef tanks that we have in our homes. And frankly, we could all use a distraction. So needless to say, everybody at OSA has been super busy and it's fun to watch from Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. So make sure that you're following all of the Ocean State Aquatics socials. I'm gonna leave, otherwise I'm just gonna give away the rest of the year and it's not gonna be fun anymore. So uh, stay safe out there and we'll see you next week.